Proud Psychology. Chicken Escape from Medex. Oh, I gotta do Chicken Escape Farm. So I guess let's do Illuminati, Illuminati Origins. Good day, I study ancient manuscripts and books in order to figure out the true story behind the Illuminati Secret Society. I need to recognize all the triangle shapes in these documents and solve the puzzles. Could you design a program that would do that for me? Okay, to decrease and increase speed... Okay, we've already done that. So, sift. This block compares shapes. If the shape of an element matches the designated shape... Okay, so it's effectively the same, but it's all... It's the same as the previous setup. It's just we're doing... We're going to be doing shapes and colors. Okay, so this wants triangles, I think. So this game is out. It's been out in early access for a while. However, uh, it is... It's been in early access for a while. However, I think it came out 1.0 yesterday. Uh, I, I believe that's the the exact... Specifics, I don't know. Like, like I said, my brain is very much like taken up by this. And I'm also just... Very much out of it at this point. This is going to have to be the last game of the night for me. Uh, just because I sh I have no business playing hard games late at night. Or at least brain hard. I could probably pull off some of the other things, but whatever. Working for the man feels too easy. Boring or soul-sucking? Aim for the sky and become a CTO of a startup. In the world of savage market laws, it's either sink or swim. Will you get rich or bite the dust? Worth trying anyway. What? Sorry, Illuminati, ah, Illuminati Origins. Okay. Good day, we're inviting you to join our hacker startup. We write sheets and guides for different games, but we'd like to create something cool now. We need a program that will play and win in Arkanoid instead of the player. We know that... Oh, can I change this? What is that chain? I have no idea. Budget? Okay. See, we know that you know a lot about machine learning, so we're inviting you to participate in our startup. Oh, so invest in the startup. Let's leave that alone for a second. Question. Uh, do I have my cat yet? Because I, I put in my cat as an option. Like, I put in my promo code for, for the cat, but now it's saying promo code doesn't exist. Yeah, actually, I, I should mention this, uh, El Joro, seeing as you're hanging out in chat. Okay, there you are. Um, uncheck hide purchased items. Oh, you're right. I had that earlier and it, was, it still wasn't showing up. Yeah, it's still not showing up, because I'm, I'm supposed to have a, a special, uh, skin, but it's... And it said the cat was unlocked. But I have not seen it actually show up anywhere. Which is unfortunate, because it's a lovely skin you guys made for me. I do kind of want the Banhammer miniature, because that's adorable. I'm assuming all of these are just decorations for our, uh, for our desk. Well, okay. Is it in other? Oh, maybe it's in inbox? No, inbox is the ones I've already done. We could always try restarting the game. That could do it. That could probably do it. Let's just start everything over from the beginning and give it another go. Yeah, I want, I want my Wonderbot cat. It's real cute. It'd be a shame if I did a whole series on this game without my cat. Okay, so let's close out of this. Let's check Sea Bay. Cat. No, it's not there. Yeah, it doesn't work for you when you scroll through available cats. No, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, promo code already activated. But if we go through cat skins, I've got Cheshire, Analyst, Two Flower, Game Developer, Expo Cat, Viking Helmet, Cyborg, uh, WTL VR, Kugel Glasses, Tank Cat, Wasteland Cat, Moralist, 
towels, sneakers, hunter, and iron cat. Not, oh, click the actual cat. Oh, there we go. I didn't, I didn't realize I had to click the chevron. All right, well, there's our answer. And there's our cute little water bot cat. Which, I mean, mainly is just the, the helmet and the gun. But that works. Yeah, I clicked on the cat itself. I didn't realize I was supposed to click the chevron. Well, there you go, guys. There's there's the cute little waterbot cat they made for me. I don't know. Didn't need to be done for me to play this game, but it was very appreciated. So, Chicken Escape Farm. Hi there, my name is Sarah. I own a small technology farm. We're improving our processes using latest technology. Shops are working with need with need supplies. Wait. Shops we are working with need supplies of eggs of different kinds. Okay, there we go. My ability to read right now is extremely hampered by life. Anyway, it takes a lot of time to sort them manually. That's why we've decided to automate, automize the process. Automize? Is that a word? Okay, you can also try the crump promo code, but I'm not sure if you're going to like the cat. All right, let's back out of that for a second. Let's check crump. The cat was unlocked. Oh god. Oh no. Let's stay away from that. Alright, back to the chicken escape farm. Okay, so decided to automize the process. We have all the necessary characters used to calculate eggs parameters, but we need an algorithm which will work with any human assi without any human assistance and high accuracy. Okay, so we've got eggs. What's the... So we've got to do square first. That's the highest volume. Else... Okay, that should work. Oh, it feels so slow. Grab a bonus. A bonus. How do I... I feel like this is entirely up to random chance at this point, whether or not I... Yeah, is there any kind of way I, I can have I can make this more efficient? Yeah, because we're always just over the the limit here, and I'm not really sure why. Because I could switch it. Because no matter what, I want square to go go to that first. Change how far things move. Does positioning actually matter on this? I'm fairly certain they move the same speed across the line no matter how far it is. And I'm... Because, like, I can zoom it out, which makes the lines shorter. I think this is just a matter of... Th that's more of a visual thing. Because here's the thing. We can put... We can just make this, like, wildly far away. And if we do the test run, if you notice, they're zipping around like crazy. Because it takes them 1.25 seconds probably, to travel each one of these lines. No matter how long they are. The problem is, we're always just a little bit slow, and I don't really have an answer to how to make this more efficient. Because we can only have two nodes. See, in the, in the eggs data, there's more squares than other things. So maybe they spawn more often. So you want the triangles first? No, because you want to you wanna sort the, the squares out sooner. Because that way they have less to process. Probably. Oh, maybe not. No, you're right. You're right about that. Because effectively, they're going to fill out fastest. What we need it is... is to get circles and and triangles sorted. There we go. Yeah, you're right. Because I was just looking at how fast these spawned, and so I was trying to clear them out the fastest, but no. 
We only need six of each there. So, you're right. Because yeah, I, was, I was just trying to uh, make the most efficient path to distribute all of them at, you know, the best pace. But I wasn't actually... Well, alright, whatever. Thank you! Illuminati Origins. Okay, coding is hard, okay? So, if you want to understand that cat's speech properly, you better earn yourself some gold medals. At the end of each era, you'll unlock up to three possible endings depending on your performance. Don't worry, you can always improve your score by replaying certain levels at any time. Click on the medal to see the era's ending. So, we have reached the end of the epoch. Click on one of the medals to proceed further in the story. So, let's do gold. Cats, biology, I, robot, Eliza, first chatbot, cat, male. This should definitely work. Eureka! Meow, Eliza, what happened? Meow. Yes, meow. Repeat, please. Meow. Cat has been detected. Can I see one of the other ones? And almost did. Almost dog. Didn't work. Cat has been detected. There goes nothing. Nothing much, really. Didn't work. Cat has been detected. Well, anyway. Training Rosenblatt's perception. Ah. Wow, that is bright. Oh, this game is so dark up until you turn on Cat Overflow, and at which point it just sears out your eyeballs. Alright. Hey, so I've managed to make my computer detect the cat, but... That beast is a complicated soul. It definitely has more to tell. Maybe it's time to go to the next level and start recognizing emotions. Ever heard of perceptions? They were invented in the 60s to recognize written text. Everyone knows that it, everything invented in the 60s is awesome by default. No. The double helix, rock and roll, lava lamps. Okay, maybe. Also, you can maybe switch to dogs instead of cats. Decision trees work like magic for my Pluto. Only you need to use multiple trees, like a forest. That's why it's called Random Forest, duh. Alright, so, and now for something completely different. Perceptions can actually learn to improve. Bad news, they also make tons of errors on the way. The percentage of errors is shown on this icon. Use training mode to teach perceptrons and decrease the amount of errors. You might need several iterations of training for best results. Okay, in test run, perceptron, result, er, perceptron reduces the amount of errors while trying to predict the shape of elements. In Deploy Run, Perceptron only protect, predicts shapes. Oh, wait. I want to look at the rest of this. So, Rosenblatt's Perceptron, used in Mark 1. This Perceptron could recognize only simple linear dependencies, but it was enough to recognize English letters. Okay. So, circle, square, turn cool. What's training versus test run? Oh! So if I train it, it fixes the... The success rate-ish. So if I keep training it, does its success rate go up? Seems like its success, success rate is still garbage. I'm not done. What? That! Okay, so no matter what, it's just gonna kinda do the same thing. We keep running the training until it actually gets close enough to accurate that... ...that it considers the mission done. Okay. Hello, my name is Sam. I own dairy product. Uh, own a dairy products factory. I'm new in this business, but I see that there are some things that need improvement. A dream of producing the goods to be both of high quality and exquisitely tasty, and they simply can't be made without high accuracy in, ferment in the fermentation process. All right, off with those fancy words. I want to teach a program to be able to tell the quality of a product judging on its ingredients. This way, we'll be able to separate tasty and well-made products from bad ones. We often make mistakes when doing it manually. A lot of our products never leave the factory since we mark them as defective ones. We have the data, but we need the program. Okay, so... Standard perception. We want circle there. The other two there. It'll miss, but it's fine. Let's do training. So you also have three private messages. I should probably look at those.
Okay, so we get the bronze result. Now, if we keep training it, does that percentage actually go up? Or does it just kind of stay at 20% forever? I guess the other thing we can do is have a second one. Might be a bit slower, but the accuracy may, may go up. Oh, that's not a 20% accuracy, that's a 20% failure rate, probably. Okay. Yeah, so when it's red, it means failure rate, and when it's green, it's success rate. No, I think, I think the percentage is always failure rate. I, I think the the percentage, when it's 75%, that means it's a 75% failure rate. Whereas the 20% means it's a 20% 20 20 failure rate. And the reason why it's green is because that's good. Because it's, it's better to have a... Uh, you know, a 20% failure rate than anything else. Hmm. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe... Yeah. Maybe I just need to do this. I mean, otherwise I could just have... See if I can have them loop through each other endlessly. <laughs> That'd be dumb. Okay, what if what if we do this? Because this, this one needs way more occupancy. Yeah, this looks like it's going to work better. Perfect. Because, yeah, I was I was having the squares and the triangles go through two programs and the circles only through one. Uh, which technically was increasing my accuracy rating, but it was creating too much of a bottleneck, which we didn't want to do. Okay, Metal Gear Construction Factory. Should probably only do, like, one or two more before I have to go eat some food. I'm starving. Okay. Metal Gear Construction Factory. Hello, we're the Metal Gear Construction Factory. We produce fittings and supply raw materials to large construction projects around the world. We're especially proud of our high standards of quality. At this moment, we need to we need to increase our production rates. We received a lot of new orders and are running late with deadlines. An algorithm is required that will determine the quality of raw material after scanning it or discard poor quality ore before it leaves the conveyor. The process is very complex, and manual analysis takes way more time than we can afford. Metal Gear. Sorry. Okay, so- oh boy. Okay. This is... dangle. How do we do this? So, for starters, we've got... Uh... Oh god. Well, this is... different. Okay. So... Blue... And red. Green, red. Okay, and a trash can. I'm so glad you can have multiple trash cans. Okay, so we want to have triangles go this way. These go here. I might want a second one of these for like efficient, not efficiency's sake. Okay. Okay. 
Let's have green. We probably want this to loop through this a second time. For redundancy's sake. So glad to, uh, trash can nodes don't take up extra node slots. Alright. The one problem is we've got the Mark 1 Perceptron. We only have one of them. Oh, whoops. You know, I totally forgot to actually hook this up. Alright, there we go. Oh, you know what the crappy thing about all of this is? I'm having a lot of this go through the Mark 1 Perceptron. Which is really slow. Okay, so let's stop. Having it go through the Perceptron first is a terrible idea. What am I doing? Okay, so we want it to go red. Red or green. We want a second one to make sure that we filter the blues down too. I wish you could almost like snap them together like this. Okay. So I'm going to put them through the Perceptron last. Because I think that's better. Okay, so red goes up here. Circle and square. Triangle. That's less of a bottleneck. I don't actually know if this is a good idea either. Okay, so the main problem is the Mark 1 Perceptron is too dang slow. So let's... Let's cancel that. We need a second Perceptron here. Okay, so blue triangles go here. And everything else goes there. Because your main problem is bottlenecking. Okay, so this one bottlenecks. Really? Well, we got it anyway, even though it was bottlenecking hard. Works for me. Sure. Probably a better way of doing it, but that's that's fine. Uh, let's see. So we have inbox, private messages. Okay, history of expert systems. 1965 can be considered a peculiar starting point for the work on creation of expert systems. In that year, scientists from the Stanford Research Institute, Edward Feigenbaum and Bruce Buchanan, Buchanan, I think, teamed up with Nobel laureate Joshua Lederberg began to create a computer system designed to determine the molecular structure of chemical compounds. Who invented the decision tree? A decision tree is a method of... Uh, a decision tree is a method of... Is... Wait, what? Is a method of... Is one of the automated data analysis methods. Okay. The first idea is creating... The ideas of creating decision trees date back to the works of Hovland and Hunt in the late 50s and early, early 20th century. However, the fundamental work that gave impetus to the development of this direction was the, was the book Hunt, Marin, and Stone Experiments in Induction, which was published in 1966. Sorry, my vision's getting kind of swimmy, so it's making this a little bit tougher. Okay. Mammy Dad at cat.meow to cat meow. Hello, dear. We... Remember how you cherish your financial independence, but come on, your birthday is just around the corner. Be a good kid and take this money and buy yourself something nice, will you? We love you very much, and we miss you. Don't forget to put put a hat on. It's very cold outside. Take cash. Thank parent. Okay, last one. New te technologies in toy manufacturing. 
Howdy, I'm contacting you on behalf of Nuka Toy Company. We design and manufacture toys for children using 3D printed technology. There are three types of raw materials we use for printing and we need an algorithm that would distribute them correctly. Passing a certain, passing a certain error, oh, passing a certain errors threshold would result in a disaster. So watch out for those. Okay. So I can have eight of these. This needs perfect accuracy. Interesting. Oh lordy, that cat on the computer is cute. Yeah, and any of you guys can use that cat if you do pick up the game. All you have to do is just type in Wanderbots in the promo code thing on the on the uh, pause menu. Okay, so circles. So I probably want to just do that. Have circles go up here. That's a lot of bottlenecking just for circles, but we got to make sure it gets enough. And that can take any. I'm just going to do that as a theory. That's probably not going to work. Yeah, you can't actually fail the bottom one, but I do need to fail the top. Or, I can't fail the top. Okay, so the main problem is this is bottlenecking too hard. So you gotta stop. We gotta get another one of these. I'm just gonna split these up arbitrarily. I mean, I can still have, like, a bunch of these things, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, time is going to be our it. Our biggest issue, but that's okay. Yeah, the Evac Cat has a little beanie. Yeah. I I think that's an absolute brilliant way for developers to... Um... Yeah, we failed. We ran out of time. Which is interesting. I guess we should check to see if any of these fill out too fast. So the middle one doesn't need nearly as much. The main problem is... We're not getting nearly enough to the top. Well, the circles are going up. I guess what we could do... That's stupid. I left my phone on. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I, I left my phone on... Uh, let's get rid of that one. Let's just plonk it there. Uh, I guess I left my phone on its, on its ringer? No, I don't know. I more or less just made sure it, it could be heard at any point in case Shell needed directions earlier. Totally forgot to turn it off. So then I just get a notification being like, You went to Target today! Did you find everything you needed? I'm like... I don't... what? I don't care. So we ran out of time. I think, honestly, the answer I'm looking at here is... Maybe... maybe I have too many. Let's just get rid of these. Circles go up here. Okay, so squares... Go here, triangles, we'll see how- we'll just try this. They've got high accuracy ratings anyway, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So I think the only problem is we probably want to just send that in there. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe, because I need them to fill out almost at the exact same pace. This is only getting it from that one, though. Yeah, so the main problem is... I'm... My distribution sucks. Like, my accuracy ratings are great. Which of these has more? I mean, I could just try and do that. Alternatively... Because we don't need that many circles to go up. So if I just have that come off, that siphons many of the mistakes. If we're lucky. Admittedly, training this sucker isn't very fast. No, this ain't working. Yeah, I ran out of time again. I don't know. I <laughs> I think I'm just too tired for this, so let's just delete everything. I, I know I need all eight nodes, but I, I'm just not going to be able to keep track of them. We'll come back to this next time for sure. Because I think I need to go lay down, spend some time with Shell, maybe eat some food. Because I've been smelling apple cider and cinnamon for ages. If you swap it with the earlier one, it'll train faster. Yeah, but it didn't even need training, honestly. But the problem is just uh, speed. We were just too slow. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, next time we play this because it seems like a lot of you guys actually like this and I'm certainly enjoying myself but uh, It's just too much for me right now optimization is tough and It's absolutely something I need to do. I don't know. It's like Hard-coded in me ish. Hey, welcome to programming where you find a solution to the problem and spend 80% of the remaining time trying to minimize your code Yeah, no, I'm very familiar with 80 20 Because uh, I do that in painting. Well, no, I don't I just hack job the last 20%. I'm like, screw it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, mainly because it's going on a YouTube thumbnail and I know nobody else cares that much. It's a bad way of doing it, but still. We also have startups, which we could look at at some point, but still. And seriously, try reinforcement learning tasks. Are they... Where are they? Because I, I thought I was doing them, but I guess they might be somewhere else. Oh, this one for for the car. I'll I'll make sure I absolutely do that next time. I'm just I'm too hungry and and too literally like fumigated to actually uh, work my way through these things. And I think I want to properly enjoy that when I get the chance. Good. So yeah, seeing as like a number of you guys seem to enjoy this, I'll probably be back to it tomorrow. Uh, probably, uh, I don't know, I'll figure it out when. I gotta figure out my schedule. Unfortunately, everything gets kind of turned around when they paint apartments around. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So is this a new series? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I always wanted to go back and finish 7 billion humans as well, but that was kind of tough. But I'll work on this one, at least for now. Especially because they made, it, made me a cute cat. And someday I'll sit down and learn how to program for realsies, and this stuff might help, maybe. I hope so. That'd be lovely.